Over the past few weeks, video conferencing platforms have seen a tremendous spike in users with more people in quarantine and working from home. The Zoom platform alone has seen daily users jump from 10 million to 200 million in just three months. So whether you use it for work, business, or play, too much can take its toll on you mentally and physically. So today in Emerge Daily, I have a few ways to help you beat video chat fatigue. As businesses begin to reopen around the country in just a few weeks, reports say many companies plan to continue some level of remote working for their employees, which means video meetings will become more common and frequently used. So from my personal experience with video conferencing, I'd like to share a few ways to help you stop it from getting the best of you. One, stay mobile. Using your desktop computer will keep you tethered to one location, which can be bad for your back and circulation. However, video conferencing from your laptop or cell phone will allow you to have more flexibility, mobility, and a change of scenery. Who says you have to be in an office to communicate? Connect from a park, a co-working space, or other parts of the house to eliminate sitting in one stationary spot. Two, limit the time. If you're the host of the call, you have control of the time. So set a time limit and stick to it by creating an agenda to keep the call on track and maximize the time. You can also follow up the call by using group messaging platforms. My favorite is slack.com. I use it with my mastermind group and we find that it's a great tool to stay connected, to share ideas and resources, and to hold each other accountable between video calls. And three, reset the scheduling. Daily video conferencing can be overkill and draining, especially for the same team. Again, if you're the host, consider changing to two or three times a week to allow for more productivity and less time spent on excessive video calls. You know, there is sure to be much more video conferencing in our future, but it doesn't have to soak up our time, zap our energy, or cause physical discomfort. So give these ideas a try to reduce the stress that may come from video communicating. Please share in the comments below how you deal with excessive video calls to offer some more suggestions if you have them. Well, that's it for this episode of Emerge Daily. If you could use a weekly dose of motivation to show up for yourself, your business, and your life, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out. Take care and I'll see you in the next episode.